And now we have the insights from the different sectors. We've had the academic sector this morning and now the private sector. Our last will be from civil society. Anders Erlund from the Church of Sweden. The pressure is on. <laughs> Hello? Now you hear me, okay? I will give you some example from international work supported by Church of Sweden. We work through our local partners in Africa, Asia, Latin America and Middle East. Some of our work is coordinated in Geneva. Many times we start with relief in relief situations. We continue with environmental rehabilitation, capacity building, and community development. It can be health, education, water, savings and credit, according to local priorities with the right perspective. The starting point has many times been emergencies, like droughts in Horn of Africa or West Africa, uh, and floods in Asia, and that followed, for example, by sand dune, stabilization in Mauritania, and flood protection in Bangladesh. Back in the history, 25, 30 years back, we were shipping grain, shipping relief grain, but at the same time we start we started supporting environmental rehabilitation in order to reduce soil erosion improve water situation and local food production. Soil conservation was introduced in new areas in Ethiopia. Grazing and forest areas were protected, rainwater captured, soil loss was reduced and the local harvest increased, especially behind the stone terraces. Soil conservation is still a key activity to maintain soil fertility 25 years later. But now terraces are covered with grasses used as fodder to the zero grazing improved milking cows. Uh, Minister of Agriculture in Ethiopia and NGOs are visiting our model farmers. Apples are successfully introduced in the highland of Ethiopia. Last September, 20 farmers from four organizations visited successful model farmers in southern Ethiopia. We have also organized study trips between Bangladesh and Thailand, between Tanzania and Uganda, and within Uganda. With soil conservation in the catchment, more rainwater is remaining for agricultural crops after infiltration in the soil. More water is also available for springs and wells. Protection of forests has been done in western Ethiopia, in Majenger area. 13,000 hectares of rainforest, national forest is being protected by forest management groups. They have legal contracts. Contract. The forest is very important for the local honey production, which gives the main local income. Tree planting is also very common in projects in Uganda, Tanzania, Ethiopia. Groundwater level has increased five, six feet in western Orissa in India, where 17 catchments have been treated, have, have been planted with trees. And in Tanzania, 90 rainforest, 90 rainforest species have been planted under shade trees. Water is a key issue. Water tanks or water ponds have been built by food for work or cash for work in Orissa for supplementary irrigation purpose in dry spells in the monsoon. Land is another key factor. When for long-term food sec land security is important, when a women's group in Orissa got a piece of land, they planted mango trees and cared for the trees like their own babies.
Mulching is a good method to conserve rainwater. Last April, we organized a workshop with experience sharing between six organizations in Zimbabwe regarding conservation agriculture. A report from, a, from an interview study with 150 farmers showed that conservation agriculture was much, much better in dry areas uh, than conventional agriculture, both with sorghum and maize. Soil, soil fertility is very crucial. Potatoes without fertilizer only harvested five tons. The agronomists got three times more only by adding cow dung. Circulation of manure and organic matter is needed in all types of agriculture, regardless of convention, if it is conventional methods or ecological methods. Burning of cow dung is waste of resources. Uh, Energy-saving stoves can improve the situation. In northern Uganda, 15,000 improved stoves are under construction. Irrigation structures, dams and gravity pipelines have been built a lot over the years in dry areas in Zimbabwe, Eritrea and Ethiopia. Water from irrigation improves the situation a lot for those who get access to water. We have supported 120 gravity pipelines in Ethiopia in 20 years' time and a big number of dams in Zimbabwe and Eritrea. Church of Sweden has also produced a lot of reports for policy use. And oh, this is a diversion of, of crops that is a key issue also in sustainable agriculture. We have a lot of policy reports. Uh, cash in hand is the, is the last one. Sustainable agriculture in a changing climate and agricultural mitigation, other reports. And together with the Federation of Swedish Farmers and Swedish Society for Nature Conservation, we have produced a report, Agriculture at the Crossroad. We need more sustainable agriculture, not at least to cope with climate change. We also educate with CADEP regarding this at meetings in Brussels. And uh, finally, finally, I want Oh, then I think I'm before the pictures. <laughs> and finally, I, I want to stress that the importance of key role, the, the key role of women in sustainable development and sustainable agriculture to obtain food security, nutrition, and a better life for all. This woman in El Salvador is growing beans to improve the soil fertility and to improve the nutrition. Okay, thank you. Thank you.